Another night of unrest in the U.S. with protests in some 75 American cities after the death of a black man in police custody. The National Guard has been deployed in a number of states. Curfews extended in several major cities as police struggle to contain the situation. Mourners held a memorial gathering for George Floyd in Minneapolis, where he died a week ago after an officer knelt on his neck. Well, earlier in Minneapolis, a truck appeared to drive through a crowd of protesters on a highway in that city. There were fears of mass casualties, but an eyewitness says only one woman was slightly injured. The truck appeared to barrel into a large crowd of protesters in Minneapolis. The tanker headed north on Interstate 35 West, blaring its horn before coming to a halt. The highway was packed with demonstrators who then swarmed the truck and tried to get at the driver. Police used tear gas to disperse the crowd that had surrounded the truck. It's, uh, DW it's correspondent right Stefan so Zimons was reporting from the uh, scene. Eyewitnesses saw one woman injured. We were doing a peaceful protest on the bridge. Then a semi came through, going like 40 or 50 miles an hour, try to run us all through. Caucasian man blowing the horn, going through. Hit a girl, stopped, and, cause, and then all of our people jumped on there, trying to rip him out, trying to get her. He kept going. We ripped her out. Yeah, started reversing, almost hit somebody. Then our people jumped on him. I mean, it's, it's instinct. So he got through. So you say he hit one person only and nobody else was hurt? No, nope, one person. One person only. That's and amazing. How is that possible? Everybody was start moving. Everybody started scattering. And the girl that got hurt, we had one. We only had one vehicle in the whole thing. And we put her in a truck and we drove her straight to the hospital. Officials say the driver was treated in hospital for injuries he suffered when he was pulled from the cab. He's now in custody. Minnesota State Patrol says the action appeared deliberate. Let's go straight to Minneapolis now. We're on the scene with DW's Stefan Siemens, who was there when that happened. Stefan, uh, there was only apparently one injury. We understand the driver's now in police custody. Yeah, he's in police custody. And uh, actually, Hennepin County authorities just released his name and also a mugshot. Um, uh, of the driver. Um, he is charged, as you pointed out, uh, um, and in custody, and the charge is assault. And why only assault? Uh, because uh, luckily, absolutely luckily, a miracle, I think, uh, nobody or at least only one woman was hurt and she is expected to recover. Um, that was, uh, at the time, uh, absolutely not evident and uh, uh, looked really, 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 really bad from our advantage point and from anybody else who was, of course, in the crowd. When we rushed to the scene, um, uh, people stored, hundreds of people came uh, towards us, running, breaking down, uh, uh, sobbing, crying, shaking. Um, and that was a, a horrible, horrible scene, no doubt. But uh, thank goodness. Uh, only one person injured, uh, that is a, is a miracle. That could have been gone really, really, really wrong. And Stefan, this came on night six of unrest and protest in the U.S. Can you give us an overview of the situation nationally? Has the protesting been ebbing? No, it's uh, no, it's uh, the the protests all over the country are increasing, uh, not only in number, uh, but also in intensity in uh, in violence too. I have to say that um, if 15 cities across the United States are now have issued curfews, 40 states plus Washington D.C. have called upon the National Guard to help quell the protests. People all across the country uh, took a cue from. Ground Zero, and right here behind me, this is Ground Zero. This is where George Floyd died. This is um, where people here in Minneapolis have put this memorial up. People all over the country in the United States took cue from this. And uh, there is bottomless rage, bottomless rage and anger in, in the African-American community and beyond about police brutality and systemic racism in the United States. Now, America is looking for leadership at this hour as it faces its worst civil unrest in generations. Is there any word as to when President Trump might be addressing the nation? Yeah, I'm aware that there is a rumor that he might 
consider the possibility of addressing the nation in a speech, and I can repeat this, have heard the rumor that he might be considering addressing the nation. Um, and that is for people behind me saying everything. And not that he is uh, actually very popular with the uh, protesters and the population uh, behind me. They don't believe anything uh, coming out of uh, the mouth of the President of the United States. Um, and they don't expect anything either. No leadership, no calming words, no leadership or vision for the future, how to heal this country. This country is say many. That's not me. This is way smarter people than me saying this. This country needs actually leadership to heal. Uh, but uh, uh, at least people here, at least people here definitely think uh, that uh, President Donald Trump is not the person who is going to deliver that. Stefan, thanks so much for that from Minneapolis.